So this is the website of the Data Prep Python library. And so let's dive into the tutorial of this video. So let's start out by installing the Data Prep library. All right, and now we're going to have a look at some of the data sets that are available in the Data Prep library. So we can see here that there are quite a few wine quality, Titanic, adult, patient info, countries, house price train, and also the test. COVID-19, waste hauler, and also the IRS data set. And so here we're going to load in the example data, which is the Titanic. And then we're going to assign it to the DF data frame. And then this is the data set here. And notice that there are 891 rows, 12 columns. And you can see here that there are quite a few missing data here. And let's have a look at the functionalities of the data prep. So if you go back to the website here, and let's have a look at the documentation. All right, and so here you're gonna see that there are about three essential key functionality. So the first one is the connector. And so connector will allow you to work with the web API for collecting data. And the second one is the EDA. And so EDA will allow you to perform exploratory data analysis. And there are quite a few examples here using the various functions that are available. And there is also another, which is the clean function, which allows you to perform various cleaning functions, such as renaming column headers, dealing with country names, because most likely you could have different variation of the country name. For example, you could have acronym, you could have abbreviation, you could have misspellings of the country, or even the characters that are used to spell the country names might be a bit different. And so here they allow some functionality in order to make it uniform and make the country name clean and as well as the other parameters that you can see here like date and time and also to deal with duplicate values as well as URLs, phone number, IP address, etc. And so let's have a look at the code now. So here we're going to import the plot function from the dataprep.eda submodule. And then we're going to make a plot of the DF, which is the Titanic data set. And then this should take a short moment. All right, and here you go. So you have the plots and you could see the comparison between the survived and not survived or even the various bars. So this is the plot that is generated from the data prep library. And it provides you with the ability to quickly glance at the key features of the underlying data. All right, and let's have a look at the plot correlation function. Let's run it. All right, and so this is the basic statistics of the correlation. And so here you have the columns here, Pearson, Spearman, and Kendall Tau. And you have the highest positive correlation and also the highest negative correlation, which is summarized for your convenience, as well as the lowest correlation and also the mean correlation. Let's have a look at the Pearson now. And so you can see the intercorrelation matrix and also the Spearman and the Kendall Tau. All right, let's move on. Let's have a look at the missing values by using the plot missing function. So here we're going to import the plot missing function and then we are going to use it. And the input argument is DF. And so similar to the above function, you have the tabs to allow you to select the various functionality here. So here we have the missing statistics so there are 866 missing cells, which account for about 8.1% of the data. And so missing data are in three columns and there are over 708 rows with missing values. Let's have a look at the bar chart a bit. And so here you could quickly see that the age parameter and also the cabin has a lot of missing value where the cabin parameter here has over 77% missing value or 687 to be exact. As far as the age, 177 are missing, which is roughly 19.87%. And so this is a great way to have a look at the missing data very quickly. And this is also another one. So you can see the age and the cabin with the missing data indicator. Let's have a look at the heat map, also indicating that age and cabin have the missing data, dendrogram, here as well, cabin and age. All right, let's have a look further. And so for here, you're going to use the plot diff function, which will allow you to compare the two data frames. So we're gonna split the Titanic data frame into two. 
So we're going to split it by selecting the first 500 rows and then assigning it to DF1. And then we're going to assign the remaining rows to DF2. Let's do that. All right, now we have two data frames, DF1 and DF2. And so let's compare them by using the plot diff function. And then the input argument is bracket DF1 and DF2. And so you can see the plots comparing the two bars. So DF1 is in blue and DF2 is in orange. And so you could quickly glance at the value count here for all of the parameters. And here is the histogram for both in blue and orange. All right, so this provides you a quick and handy way to visualize the comparison between two data frames. And so I think this is probably one of the most popular functionality of the data prep library, which is to generate the EDA reports. And the great thing about this is that you could also export it out as the HTML file and then you could share it. And then all of the corresponding images of the plot will also go along with it. So let's have a look here. So let me delete the example from the prior run. All right, so if you use report.show, where report will be assigned by the create report function, and then the input argument is df. Let's run that first. And now the report will now be generated and assigned to the report variable. And then we're going to show it inside the Jupyter Notebook here in the Google Colab. And as noted here, you could also try the show browser function. All right, and so this is the report. And so it might be a bit small for the screen because it is inside a cell of the output. So let's have a look here briefly. You could click on overview. Okay, so it's not working as intended. Let's run it again. So I think it's better to save it out. Okay, so it's quite interactive. And so you could click on, okay, so it's not working as, as intended. So let me just save it out as a report right here, report.save, report. Let's do that. And also I tried from a prior run, the show browser function also did not work on Google Colab. And so this might also work on the Jupyter Notebook on a local computer. And so I've tried from the prior run that the save function works. So it'll generate the HTML file right here. Let's download it. And so the exact same report that you see here will be saved into the HTML file. Okay, so I think it's downloaded already. All right, so let's allow it to download to the computer. All right, let me try again. Download. All right, and so let's open it up. And so this is the generated EDA report. So you can see at a glance the data set statistic. And then there are quite a few missing data. And let's have a look at the insights of the various columns here. And so it provides a pretty good summary. It even tells us that the fair variable is skewed. And it says here that H and Kevin has pretty high missing value. Let's have a look at page two. So the remainder of the variable insights. And here, let's have a look at the variables. So each of the variables are shown in the plots here, as well as the descriptive summary statistics. Let's click on the show details. All right, and it provides more into the minimum, medium, maximum, the interquartile range, and also other descriptive statistics. Also the plots for the KDE, the normality plot, box plot. Okay, so this comes in handy and they're pretty interactive as well. So if you hover your mouse over it, you will see the parameters shown here. Let's have a look further. And this is the scatter plot for depicting the interaction between the variables. So you could try out the different descriptors and their interactions. And so this is the correlation plot, Pearson, Spearman, Kendall, Tao. And we have here the missing value as we have seen prior to this, the spectrum, the heat map, and also the dendrogram. Okay, so you could also try out the menu bar here as well, and it'll hop over to the corresponding position. So correlation is here, interactions is here, missing value is this one, overview is here. All right, and so this is the generated report. And so you could share this report to your colleague and coworkers. And so please drop a comment on which feature 
did you like about data prep? 